This is Twit. Uh, beer pick of the week. My favorite part. Beer pick of, of the, the week. Collective Arts Ransack the Universe is the beer pick of the week. You know, we've been talking about constellations and all this. We might as well have a, a universe beer pick. Is this um, so collective, IPA? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but one you would like if you were drinking IPAs, actually. Um, Hamilton, Ontario Collective Arts Brewing is a really awesome brewery and they're starting to distribute more in the US. They make IPAs, they make sours, they make dark beers, they make all kinds of things. But this one, Ransack the Universe, it it is an IPA. It has a lot of hops in it. But it also has a ton of malt in it. So when you're drinking it, it's not bitter at all. It's it's like, oh, wait, this isn't the kind of IPA I think of when I think of an IPA. It's something non-bitter and balanced. I can't say that's Paul Thorat in a nutshell because I would say he is unbalanced and Absolutely unbalanced and bitter. And bitter. I think that's a fair, <laughs> the, the IPA of tech bloggers. I, I, yes, that's you. Hmm. That could be your new tagline. The un IPA, um, but yeah, I if, am if you, in PA after all. <laughs> you are so yeah. If you if you think you might like to try an IPA, but you're scared off by the bitterness and the overly hoppiness that is true of many of them, that which I happen to love because I'm a bitter hoppy person. Um, <laughs> instead, you should yep. try this. Ransack the universe. <laughs> 